This is Horseback Bob, and today I'd like to talk about one of the lesser known freshwater food sources, those being the freshwater clams. There are literally hundreds of different types, genuses and species of freshwater clam. I'm down here in San Antonio on the river, and I found four different types today, uh, one of those being the golden orb. As of this year, Texas Parks and Wildlife has gone about naming this along with 14 other species as threatened and endangered. So before you go out here and collect or plan on eating, do make sure that your local laws, federal and state, correspond with your plans. Uh, clams come in all sizes from these little mini clams I have here that you might find common, shells all over the place. A little pearl shaped and this guy, and if you believe it or not, that's actually a small one. In Texas and some of these southern states, clams can get even larger than this one. And I picked this up just a few minutes ago. This is not full grown either. Clams have a long lifespan. There's a lot of meat in this, so as far as survival food goes, it's a very, very good way of getting that nutrition, especially when you don't have to have a hook or anything. Jump in, dive in, scour the banks in the mud. You'll usually find them. They're filter feeders, so the dirtier the water, usually the more clams you find. These are also a good indicator of a healthy environment because if the water's being polluted, the filter feeders get it first and they'll die off. But check them out, catch them. Hopefully you can have a clam bank. Make sure that you are within regulation, but happy clamming.